Colin Haig is a director of the Royal Astronomical Society of Canada, and he joins us now. So these pictures, let's talk about them. Images showing haze, images showing flowing ice. What's significant about that? Well, first off, we now know Pluto has a fairly decent and thick atmosphere uh, for such a small planet. We know its geology is very active. Uh, so in recent memory, you know, ice has been flowing on the surface. It's been building mountains and cliffs and strange polygons and almost rivers of frozen nitrogen are imagined to be moving around based on the new data we have. Wow, unbelievable. So what does it tell us about the habitat, what it would be like on that planet? Well, first off, very, very cold, so we all have to wear our down jackets, but I think the- How the, cold, do we know? Oh yeah, very we're talking, you know, down in the minus 200s kind of temperature, so okay. very, very cold. Um, very interesting things happen at those temperatures. Any liquid water, liquid nitrogen, uh, liquid methane freeze and they form interesting shapes. Although there's enough going on, there seems to be some methane and hydrocarbons in the atmosphere. And we're seeing a lot of detail based on the latest images showing us, you know, uh, almost rivers and cliffs and mountains and a lot of interesting geology and a fairly fresh surface, not a lot of craters or other impact. Mm -hmm. And there's this beautiful sort of ring around Pluto which is showing its thin atmosphere and how, you know, it's just this tiny ribbon all the way around the planet. Mm -hmm. It's pretty active and exciting stuff. So what's the most interesting or the most fascinating thing that maybe surprised you over the past week and a half of getting these images from Pluto? Well, there's been so much, I, I mean, we kind of think is, you know, is this a small icy dead rock or one of those lumpy potato shaped asteroids? And what we've learned is Pluto really is its own little world. Uh, we know exactly how big it is. And I think we were all surprised at the color, uh, at the variation of the terrain. Uh, it's the little planet with the heart, everybody now knows. Mm -hmm. um, but we're seeing two different kinds of terrain there. So very interesting geology um, and fascinating. I think a lot of things we didn't expect are being revealed every single day. You know, people like you, and you see the smiles on people's faces at NASA, they're like kids in a candy store, right? I mean, this is just a very special time that we're that we're living in, in terms of all Oh, absolutely. Of this. I mean, not often do you get to go five billion kilometers, take photos and send them back to your friends. And, you know, the friends are all of us here on this earth. And compared to the, the images we saw of the blue marble earlier this week, our own planet, you know, it's amazing the contrast. And it kind of gives us a little hint of how precious our world is and how cold and frozen uh, yet active Pluto is. And you've had some inquiries from the public, right, recently? Oh, over yeah, we've had, we've had a lot of calls, people reaching out via social media and so on. And we also know our partners and friends at NASA uh, and other organizations like the Canadian Space Agency are getting a lot of interest and, and people are very excited. Yeah. This is a new age of discovery we're in. And so what do, what do you expect will be next for the New Horizons? Where, where is it going next? What could it send us more images beyond our solar system? So I think the first thing to remember is that it's so far away and it takes so long to send us each image that for the next several months, every day we're gonna be getting new data, new pictures, new spectral data, so things to help us understand the radio profile of the atmosphere, so a lot of new stuff is being basically on its way now. It's stored on the spacecraft and being shipped. So we've got several months of goodies coming our way. It's like Santa's coming every day, to yeah. use your original analogy. But the other thing that's gonna happen is New Horizons is going to drift out further past the orbit of Pluto. And maybe at some point in the future, we'll start to discover some new objects, some of what we call the Kuiper Belt objects, which are more of those sort of potato-shaped rocks out there, but there may be a small planet or two out there on the way. That is pretty exciting. Yeah, it certainly is.